Hi, in this video, you will learn about reusable templates. In this case, we want to use our general terms and conditions that might be re reused over multiple quote documents or quote examples in a quote document. So we have a template, general terms and conditions. Uh, it's just a normal Word document. And of course, we can also have merge fields and logic in this uh, template. So that we will see. Normal Word document. So uh, What's uh, obvious here is that it doesn't have any headers or footers, because what we're going to do is we're going to take the content of this Word document and put it into our uh, main document. So the headers and the footers will be inherited from the main document in which we're going to reuse this template. So we have, of course, also a main document. And in this main document, you can see we have our headers, our footers. Uh, and all we need to put there is a merge field to where we want this uh, reusable template to be inserted. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the configuration of all of this. Uh, for that, we go to uh, PDF Better Configuration screen, of course. Let's first look at our template. Uh, in Salesforce, we have created a new uh, doc config of the type template Word document. So make sure it's a template Word document. That means it's reusable and it can be reused in multiple main doc configs. So the difference here is that this is a template Word document. That's the reusable Word document. And this is a main doc config. That's where we're going to use our template in. Of course, if you want to reuse a template in another template, that's perfectly possible. But in this case, we're going to reuse a template in a main Word document. OK, cool. So that's clear on how to create those doc configs. Let's take a look at the configuration then. Uh, in the configuration of our template, which as you can see here is uh, in uh, shows like a template, uh, uh, we have our document that we want to upload. If you have multiple alternatives, for instance, for the languages, perfectly possible. And we put here our logic. So we have a uh, data source in this case. In many cases, you don't have any uh, logic. That's perfectly possible. If you just want to have a terms and conditions document without any logic, no, no worries. You can just have an empty list of data sources and an empty list of config types. And then everything is just as normal. So uh, you would just reuse your, um, yeah, your logic as it uh, shows here. So here we're going to show some uh, payment terms and depending on the settings, of, uh, of the uh, payment term field in our opportunity. We can say which item in our template we want to show or hide. So that's uh, actually a table row in our template here that we are showing or hiding depending on the payment terms information. Okay, cool. So what has to happen in our main doc config? So that's where we're gonna use our templates. Let's take a look. Uh, let's filter here on the conditions. And on our conditions config type, uh, we, we are using actually what we call a document uh, config type. So you set this to document v2. There will be another video on when to use a document, uh, but this is focusing on uh, document v2. So a document v2, you can say, well, uh, I want to link it to a data source. The merge field is going to be conditions. This is what we saw right here. Uh, and then we're going to link it to a certain template. In this case, our car opportunity is a single data source. But if you link it to an, a list data source, that will mean that our template will be uh, repeated for every record in the list data source. And as always, you can put in criteria logic, which means that, well, in certain cases, I want to show or hide this, uh, this template, uh, want to insert it into the document, yes or no. So here it seems that only when the stage name equals negotiation review, only at that moment, I want to insert my terms and conditions into the template. Any other stage, it will not be inserted. Okay, so that's a very straightforward uh, setup. So let's take a look at the demo of uh, all of this. Let's go to an opportunity. And on the opportunity, we will switch, flip the stage to proposal price quote, for instance. So in this case, we do not expect that the template will be inserted because it will only be inserted when it's negotiation review. 
Okay, let's take a look at the uh, document that we are generating in this case. And uh, I would expect the uh, templates not to be there. Okay, let's take a look. And at the end, you can see, well, yeah, that is no template. Uh, sorry, no terms and conditions. So that's a good thing. That's exactly what we want. So let's uh, do this again, but switch the stage to negotiation review. Okay, now let's generate the PDF. Okay, and at the end, you will see that now the uh, terms and conditions is, is added. So this is exactly what shows in my template, but the headers, the footers come from the main doc config, so the main document. So it will inherit the footers and the headers. And as you can see, the page numbers, it will also inherit and the page numbers just keep running. And the logic that needs to be run in, uh, inside the uh, main doc config also is perfectly, uh, sorry, the template doc config is also perfectly run. And now we can also have the, our logic from there directly into our main template. So that's how to set up a template.